Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tom's Workshop. Um, recently, I had another viewer point out an interesting problem with uh, the OGS50 uh, amplifier, and he stated that uh, he was getting very high SWR on his radio to the amplifier. And I must admit, I only checked it once, and I checked it on the 20 meter band when I got it, and it was uh, actually okay, it was somewhere around 1.5, if memory serves me. And uh, so I ran mine through the tests, uh, through all the bands, uh, 160 through 10, and I couldn't believe what I saw. In some cases, the SWR was clean off the chart, specifically on the 80 meter band, which was the band that he was trying to operate his unit on. So, after some poking and prodding inside the unit, it became pretty obvious that the OGS-50 doesn't have any type of load to give the radio. So, I found a quick and easy solution. Anybody can do it, and it is two thin film, um, 200 ohm resistors, rated for 3 watts each. They're paralleled up. Uh, so you've got the uh, wire ends of them, you've twisted them together, and they're simply soldered to the ground tab uh, in between the two BNC connectors and the pin on the relay that uh, transfers the RF on transmit to the actual amplifier. I've got a quick little video uh, which I shot inside the amplifier after I made the modification, and hopefully this helps somebody um, Definitely something that could destroy the finals in your radio, especially on the FT817, I believe, which is known to have very, very fragile finals. So, hope this helps you. Uh, something that I recommend to be done to all of them. The end results are a SWR of 2 to 1 on all the bands, or a little bit better, and uh, the ability of your radio to actually operate correctly. Um, output power from the amplifier does not appear to be affected more than 5%, so if you're getting like 50, 55 watts, you're going to be getting about 48, 49 to 52, 53. Um, surprisingly, it does make the amplifier uh, quite stable down at 160 meters. Yes, it's not officially rated to go there, but it does very well, and uh, my amp has spent many hours transmitting on there. So. Anyway, um, hope you enjoy, hope it helps you, hope it uh, saves you a repair bill on your radio. Um, thank you very much for watching. You'll see those two resistors right there. I've added them. Uh, you can uh, check out the color codes, but you'll quickly find out that those are two 200 ohm, 3 watt thin film resistors. And you'll see I've got it connected to the ground in between the um, uh, BNC terminals there and the board. And we've gone off of uh, the terminal that is engaged during um, transmit on the, tra uh, uh, the, the radio side. So we have an extra load on the radio. And with this modification, all of your bands will be nicely in and around two or less SWR. So I hope that helps. And uh, it was quick, easy, and under a dollar, and works just fine. Thanks for watching Tom's Workshop.